Yeah, there, there are a couple of ways to think about this. Yeah. One way is, of course, like the, the basic scenario, which is when you, in which you have availability. So when a, uh, and I'll use the wind turbine case, this go, or wind farm case, it goes exactly similar or very similar in the solar, solar case. But basically, you have a wind turbine. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you have the availability of that wind turbine. Can it mm -hmm. produce energy or can it not produce energy? And so you want that turbine to, produce, to be able to produce energy when there's wind and when the electricity prices are high. Mm -hmm. So we measure what is the availability of the turbine. And many of our customers are in full service contract with their turbine OEM. So we help our customers uh, to evaluate that they're getting the availability um, that is in line with the availability contract that they have with the OEM. Ah, okay. yep. So making sure that the turbines are able to produce energy um, as much of the time as possible. Yeah. The second thing is to optimize the performance. So when the turbines are performing, are they producing as much energy as they should be? Okay. And um, that's not always the case uh, because sometimes there can be your misalignments, there can be um, wrong control settings in the control system. And so being able to capture this over a large base of assets uh, is really valuable for our customers.